Welcome back to TR3 B channel! Today we've got the top 10 rarest outfits you want to trade for, you want to get, and how to get them. Starting with these, this is the variant of the nurse's outfits you get from Fort Defiance. They're quite hard to get, they sometimes spawn there, and you can also get them from a couple of random events. But still quite hard to get hold of, this brown one here being one of the most common ones. But the most hardest ones to get are the red and white one and the nurse's outfit. See so if you get hold of them, trade for them, you want it to complete your collection. I personally don't like them too much because my figure my character is male up next number nine we have got this outfit and all the variants of the jumpsuits that you can get from completing various events around the map including bots on parade the messenger free range and the horde events also including the rarest one which is the forest camo outfit jumpsuit really hard to get these only drop about 0.2 percent of the time they are quite rare but only number nine in our list. Take a look at that. This is one of the best ones, I think, apart from the forest uh, camo jumpsuit. Not bad. Anyway, up next we got these. You get this, and the next one, we've got two here at number eight. You can get these at the Charleston Vendor, but it's the secret vendor that only spawns in one in every 20 times. But there are a few actual spots around the map where the Charleston Responder bot does actually spawn in. But when he does, he hasn't always got these on him, so they are quite hard to get hold of. But the only number eight in our little list, and there's some really nice, some really nice outfits. These two, I like the way the um, the resin and all the details on them, including the combat knife. Up next, you get this from completing the riding shotgun event. The event that everyone's sort of forgotten about. You can activate it yourself down the bottom of the map, but you get this from completing that but only drops again only two percent of the time it's quite hard to get especially to have the whole complete outfit but obviously now everyone's trading all these rare outfits that are easy to get but still i'm only putting these together through the outfits that i have found hard to get this one this is now a legacy item this is the prototype hazmat suit it used to be widely available up in emmett mountain disposal site where we played the radiation rumble now it's not there, now it's legacy, get hold of it while you can. Because it used to be there all the time, but now it's not. It's not in a game, it is legacy. With it as well, this, this is so hard to get, I'm so pleased I got this. This drops 1% of the time when completing, um, what's it called, Radiation Rumble and getting all four, four uh, reward points for Radiation Rumble. And it's still only 1% chance to drop. I've done it loads of times, Radiation Rumble, and I've never got it. I was given this. Excellent. I love it. Up next, number five, we've got two variations of this. We have got the leather coat and the traveling leather coat. The traveling leather coat has the backpack on the back. The normal leather coat don't. You don't get the green hood of it, though. You have to get that separately. That sometimes spawns in White Springs. This is one of my most favourite outfits. I do like it a lot. Now you can get this. It's a really rare reward. Only 1% of the time again for completing Hearts, what's it called? Heart of the Swamp and Queen of the Hunt. Really rare. Another rare one. Now, a question for you guys in the community. I don't actually know where this one comes from. Number four. I know it's rare. I've done my research on Google. This is really hard to find. I can't even find where you get it from. So that anyone can let me know in the comments below where you get this outfit from. It is the tattered field outfit. Keep in mind you don't get the wraparound mask with this. That also can spawn in White Springs. Love it. One of my favourites. Check it out. Up next, my personal favourite, number three, is the pirate outfit. Now you've got this from a very rare drop. Up mischief night that you could only do the event that, only, that event only comes in in October but for some reason they didn't do it this year that's how rare this outfit is and I'm thinking I'm pretty sure there's only 1% chance of dropping when you complete that mission that's why it's very rare that's why you don't usually see it I think it's definitely my most favourite outfit but it's only in at number 3 number 2 is two variants of the Jacko Lantern suit now, this also used to drop very rarely at Mischief Night. That was at White Springs over a year ago. Like I just said, it didn't happen this October for some reason. It's a Halloween event. But you can get this suit, uh, Jack O' Lantern suit, and you can also get the short one, which is here. And this is even rarer. And this is why it's coming at number two. I've only ever seen this 
suit a couple of times. You get the snazzy trainers with it as well. Look, look at that, isn't it beautiful? One of my favourite suits. This doesn't top my pirate outfit for me. It's still my favourite one, but this is really good, really rare. Number two, check it out. The short pantsuit. Jack-o'-lantern. Lovely. Right, people in at number one, we've got two masks. These are super rare. These are legacy outfits or legacy masks, whatever you call them. It is the Urban Scout mask and the Forest Scout mask. The Forest one I'm showing them, it looks slightly different. These are ultra rare now. These were only available in the game the first six months the game was out. And for some reason, they were taken out. They were widely available in the game, but now they're not. For some reason, you can't get hold of them. Their legacy. If you've got a chance to get hold of them, then do because these are my number one. I love them, I think they're great. And here they are. That is it. That is my top 10 rarest outfits and masks you can get a Fallout 76. Keep in mind, keep in mind that they're only rare because I thought this is how hard how hard they are for me to get personally. I've played this game for two years now, and a lot of these outfits are very, very hard to get. Also, I've done my research on Google, and I think this is the top 10. My top